Um, the other story we wanted to talk about was a lawyer, uh, Stephen Stubbs, great lawyer out here. Um, he was in the film What Happened in Vegas. If you haven't seen that, check it out. That was a, an award-winning documentary by Ramsey Dennison. Um, Stephen Stubbs, I don't know if he helped produce it, or but he was in it. He's the executive producer. The executive yeah. producer. And um, he, didn't he represent you too, Kelly? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a, a great, great lawyer. Well, I've worked <laughs> with him through Coplock and... Uh, I followed a lot of his stories as a result of that because uh, I have a relationship with him. And then uh, also, because of that relationship, he represented me when I got arrested for filming the police two years ago, actually two and a half years ago. And uh, so, yeah, so he's my lawyer. And the thing is, the original case that we covered on Cop Block was more or less the same issue. Yeah, this isn't the first time he's been yeah. arrested for this. So he was, that time he was ordered to leave so that they could question his client and charge with obstruction then. And, like, when you see it, like, the first reaction is, like, oh, fuck again? Like, are they <laughs> stupid? But the thing about that is uh, sergeant at the time you told me yep. is now a lieutenant who's in charge of an area command so mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's a bad career choice to arrest people for bullshit at no, at least to arrest stubs yeah. she's been promoted be. twice and put in charge first of all put in charge of uh, internal affairs and then put in charge of an, an area command mm -hmm. so right arresting stubs is Getting yeah. caught committing <laughs> perjury in order to arrest a lawyer for representing his client was a pretty good career move for her, apparently. Right. I, I recommend it to all the other police officers, you know. <laughs> Go out and arrest Stubbs. Right. Yeah, it doesn't this come out of their pocket when you get sued. It comes out of our pockets. Right. Yeah. So he beat the first charge. I'm sure he'll beat this one, too. I mean, what he's doing is telling his client, look, don't talk to the police. That's their Fifth Amendment right. This is the Constitution that these officers have supposedly, well, they have sworn to uphold, but just don't. <laughs> they just right. don't. I mean, it's the same advice that we, you know, give to anyone who has to talk to the police. And, mm -hmm. and we always say, you know, always have your lawyer there. Mm -hmm. And One of they the had their lawyer there, and... Your lawyer gets pinched. Yeah, hopefully so. it's a lawyer willing to get arrested for you, like stuff. Well, well, that's that's you like when you read that story, the first they sent in the security guard from the ho from the hospital. Mm -hmm. so they there was a car accident, and then they took his client to the hospital, and then they decided, you know, they were trying to question her, and he's telling her not to not to talk, mm -hmm. and they decided they wanted to get rid of him. So the first thing they did is they had the security guard from the hospital come walking in there and tell him. And then apparently they put him in handcuffs for an hour out in the hallway. And then told him that they would release him if he left. And he said instead he wanted to talk to a supervisor. So they said, okay, we're going to arrest you then. Yeah. Uh, it's just unbelievable, man. No, it's what pigs do. It's, well, I mean, uh, it's entirely <laughs> believable, but yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. No, as the show goes on and the people get to see more and more of these stories, um, they're not as shocking uh, as they should be because mm -hmm. it's becoming very commonplace for these kind of abuses to run rapid. So, 